Let's see if Tri-City can tie some organization history tonight. Can they win 10 in a row? As always, folks, we'll find out together. Here we go. Hold on. Game two of the Frosty Cup is underway. Lincoln carries over the red line. They'll move quickly up the wing. Here they go with Usato in front. Give and go, and it's high in the air, and then back down to the ice. Swept across the top of the crease, and Arseny Sergeyev survived. Play by Pierce, who's open in front. Kicked out by Sergeyev, and Tri-City should have numbers here. Two on one. It's Cole O'Hara. He's got it up the right wing. Steps on side. Goes back in front for Wilmer, and just wide it goes. And it's Mitchell Miller. Scored in last night's game. Netted his 14th of the season. He'll drop it on side. Now back to the near side corner, and Tanner Adams. Adams goes in behind the goal. Here's Christian Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald for the first time tonight, wearing number three in the game. They look to feed it back to him. He gets to it, and he tried to go up high to Andrew Strathman. Strathman eventually finds it, moves along. Here's a drive from the point. They score! Christian Fitzgerald tips it in, and Tri-City takes the lead. It's one to nothing. 16-41 left to go in the Nebraska Lottery first period. Stars begin to transition through center. Thompson down the wing. Backhand drive, and it goes wide. We'll see if Brindley can find it. Couldn't get to it. Stars possess in the far side corner. Now in behind the net. Rap chance and on goal. And a save made by Arseny Sergeyev. Played along by Patrick Raftery. The main commit. Tri-City with numbers. Looking for Fitzgerald again. They get it to him. Oh, and he just fanned on it. Just went just by him as he was trying to put it in. Christian Fitzgerald settles it down again. Fitzgerald took a check to make the play. Hit in the near side corner on Miller and a call up coming and Tri-City gets the game's opening Central Hydraulics power play. They announce the penalty to Nelson cross checking. 25.6% the power play for Tri-City, third best in the league. And the Lincoln Stars fifth best at 82.5. Onside Nikolaev, what a move and on goal and a good save made by Whitehead. So fire back to the near side corner. We'll see if the Storm can find it this time. Stars have room but a turnover. Chernetsky near. Shoots and a glove save made by Cameron Whitehead through traffic but cleared out to center by Lincoln. Back on side, Wilmer across in front of the net. They fire in on Whitehead. A nice save, maybe two of them quickly on Graham Gamash. So it's back to center. As McEwen put it to Mitchell Miller. Miller fires for another partial change. Tri-City almost took it away, and they're looking for it again. Graham Gamash, he's having a great game so far. Slap shot from the point. In on goal, bat of the round. Sebrian looking for it. It's underneath Whitehead, and no further play. High in the zone and in through center. Two on two. Stars will drop it back. They've got a trailer. They shoot, and it's blocked. It's high in the air, and Tri-City finds it with Strathman. Still back and forth. No one really with it yet. Then Tri-City had a brief chance. Shade pins it to the dasher, not moving at all. And now Tri-City with it again. Player knocked down from behind, trying to play it from his knees. Chernexky near in front and covered up by Whitehead. And now Tri-City with a man sent down to the ice in front of the net. Several players coming together. Tri-City enters the second period with a one-goal lead. Goes down, looking for the puck. It's right behind him. Back down to the ice. Cole O'Hara looks for it. He finds it, O'Hara up top, Wilmer down low and on goal, and it's underneath, it's front of the line, it's free, and where is it? Still free, a mad scramble, and Lincoln will survive as they clear it out. And the Stars get to it as Usato blocks a couple of shots that time of the defending end. The Stars bench loved that. Jarecki taken down, penalty call to Jondra Skinnis on the check. Stars look to move it on side. Thompson goes down the wing, steps over the line, top of the left circle, now to the near side, and Nate Benoit with the pressure across from Drew Montgomery. Another penalty called here on Tri-City. And the Lincoln Stars are going to have a five on three. Puck hits the ice. It's one away from Victor Trenexky there. Joe LeMay holds the zone. Swings the pass across. They get it back to Le LeMay. They go down low. And front, they score. We're tied. It's Dalton Norris. Norris ripped home a slap shot, skates quickly to it, sends it in the corner, gave it up though. Good check from Driskinis, wants to get it back from Shade in front. Lava shooting, same in Ersini Sergeyev, he's running two and tries and he finds it. Gives the pass over to Luke Johnson, near side Aiden Thompson. Thompson, a drive blocked by Driskinis. He's shaking up and he goes down. A shot block from John Driskinis, numbers down low though. Across they go, backhanded on Ersini Sergeyev and he has it. Up top, it's LeMay with it. LeMay fakes his drive, holds on to it, sends it to the near side circle. We've got a tie game in the second. Stars look to take the lead on the power play in front and on Sergeyev. He had it briefly, and they blew it dead. Meanwhile, Stars have it back to center ice again. Tri-City finds it with Tanner Adams. Here comes Adams, three on two, maybe if they hustle. It's Adams, wide open, Miller. In front they go, they score! Tanner Adams and Tri-City will take the lead. And they win the face-off back. They've got it up top. Here's Straffin. Straffin finds Cole O'Hara. O'Hara in front looking for a tip, and they almost had it. They were trying to find Jeremy Wilmer, Wilmer in the goal mouth. 
15 seconds remaining on the power play. It's Brindley up high in the zone. He'll swing it across. Victor Trenecki near from the top of the left circle. Looks to move it away from Johnson. In behind the net in front. Dubinsky, a one-timer. Caught by Cameron Whitehead. Storm will look to find it. It's from the side of the circle with 4.50 remaining in the second period. Tricity ahead by a goal. Look out in front. They fire it on Sergeyev. It was Carter Shade, and Sergeyev has it. What a save at the top of the goal crease. Toiak almost stole it. He's got it now. Tried to find Sabrian. Storm onside from the steal from Dean Toiak. He'll chip it up top. A slap shot swallowed up high in the air, and he goes bouncing down the side of the goal. Wilmer. From the faceoff, got to it at center and almost pushed it away to Cole O'Hara. He tried to lead O'Hara off on a one on 0 break. Meanwhile, Stars took it away. They'll move it down the ice, but that almost worked out for a 2 on 1 and then a clear 1 on 0. Lincoln gets to it. In front, it goes off the backhand. In on goal, rolling free, they score. And we're tied at 2. We've got 2.37 left in the second frame. Tri City looking for a takedown in front of the net. And nothing called as Wheeler was peeled down to the ice. Tri City wants to move it out. They got Fitzgerald on a break in behind the defense. Shoot, save made. High in the air it went, right over the top of the net. Norris goes across the ice. Tri City picks it off. Here's Leighton Road in front and slammed it right to the pad. Brindley in on goal, short range. He's taken down to the ice. Wheeler, slap shot. It's blocked. Did not make it to Whitehead. Another drive in front, angled in the near side glass. 37 seconds left to go in the second period. We've got a tie game at two. Here's Brindley, up high he goes, finds Wheeler, high in the air now, down to the ice. Brindley's open in front, he tried to feed his teammate. Road shoots off the back of the net. Stars looking to get to it, Lincoln finds it. Stretch play, Varimyev, one-on-one, now maybe a two-on-one. Thompson catches up, Varimyev, and a save made by Arseny Sergeyev with the glove. Kieran Sabrian wants to win it for Tri-City. Down it goes, Stars get to it, they'll circle, they'll try to fire one second left, and skipping wide at the horn. It's Nikolaev and Marcellus, and Marcellus looks to one of the way from Ely Nikolaev. Played here by Miller, back to the near side is Sean McEwen. McEwen out to Wilmer, looking for him at least, and then transitioning right to left through center rice in the offensive end. A chance in front, O'Hara in on goal, and a save made. Still free, and they try to feed to Jeremy Wilmer. LeMay moves around Dubensky. LeMay still with it. Doesn't fire, now he does, and swept away by Arseny Sergeyev. Another chance on the far side, shut down. Stars have it up top. It's LeMay, shoot, shot block by Victor Trenecki there. Still onside, Norris goes in front. They fire it on Sergeyev, and he makes a save. He tried to cover it, and he couldn't do it. Lincoln has it, numbers advantage down low. They go across, they shoot, blocked in front. Diving across was Leighton Road, and then behind the goal it goes. But Lincoln will move through the pressure with Lucas Wallen, St. Thomas commit. Tri-City almost got to it. Then Montgomery knocked into the Stars bench and being pushed in there and held in there. And now a penalty called. Penalty there. Four minutes exactly. So two-minute penalty. Strathman from the face all across. They go. They look to fire. In front rolling just free. Tri-City already looking for something on the power play. Doiak a one-timer. Swallowed up. Here's Fernandez quickly crossing back on side. It's McEwen with a nice check across the ice. Bodies flying all around. This is as physical as I think we've seen these two this weekend. And Lincoln will possess the puck. They don't get it out of the zone, at least on the first attempt. And a second surge out to center. Penalty called here behind the play. Tri-City to the power play. Montgomery was held down to the ice. He has taken some hits tonight, and he's now struggling. He's trying to crawl back out to the neutral zone. And Drew Montgomery has been injured. And Nelson just yelled across the ice at the official. And they have signaled for misconduct, by the way, to Nelson. Mitchell Miller searching for it behind the goal line. Awkwardly goes into the board. Friendly kept the zone. Now he's got to get back. Tries to move around to Recchi. Short-handed break in on Sergeyev. And a save made all the way across the ice it goes. And there we go. Storm won the face off, though. Near side, here's Wheeler. Wheeler loads up. They go down low. They find Grand Gamash. In front. They fire. What a save made by Whitehead. I don't believe it. He got it with the glove. And Rob Kieran Sever in front of the net. Turnover. It's Turnex Skinner with Road. Here's Turnex Skinner. Tries to feed Road. He waits. Holds on to it. Now he finds Brindley. Brindley cuts in the far side corner. The zone fills up. Five on five. Benoit fires. Blocked in front. Rebound. They were looking for with Gavin Brindley. Back behind the cage. Brindley held up. We've got eight minutes left to go in the game. We've got a tie game. Two to two. The puck squirts free. 
found and cleared out to center. Benoit back in a one-on-one. -on -one. Wallen gets around him, and Benoit gets back defensively just in time. Stars fire onside, intercepted by Mitchell Miller. He took the puck out of midair, slammed it down. A big check in front of the bench, and the helmet comes flying. Look out here. Leighton Rowe goes after Thompson. Now across the ice is Brindley going after Thompson. And the linesmen are racing across the ice here. And McEwen had his helmet knocked off in front of the bench. They're screaming all the way across the ice, and it was Shade, who I believe is now going to go across towards the box. Thompson looking to follow. It's a five-minute major on the board of Thompson. And so Thompson given the five-minute penalty, and he's also been ejected from the game. And... Now, I think the official Haskell wants to take somebody off the Stars bench and move them across the ice. I think an additional penalty has been called on the bench or someone along the bench. And uh, let's see if they get this sorted out. It's a two-minute five-on-three. A five-minute penalty counting, a two-minute penalty counting. Tri-City five-on-three here in the... Final five minutes of the third period. Here's Wilmer who's open. Wilmer ahead fake, nice move, and he drags it down low. Back up top, Miller across, they go slap shot, they score! Ilya Nikolaev! Five on three, power play goal, and Tri-City takes the lead, it's three to two. And a penalty called here on Nikolaev on the celebration. It's 3-2 for Tri-City, 3.55 to go, and a face-off at center, 4-on-4 four four hockey. Elian Nikolaev scores the goal and goes straight to the Integrated Security Solutions hot box. We have no goaltender in the game, and nothing delayed. And so Lincoln will cross onside with LeMay. So we're now playing 5-on-4 hockey. If this could not get any stranger, 3.08 to play in the game. In front, rolling free, and Tri-City off the back end. They'll chip it down the ice. We've got 67 seconds left to play in this hockey game in a regulation time. Here's Joe LeMay across. They go in a great stick of the very last second. Laba plays it. Takes a funny hop in the corner, and the Stars will set up here. They've got control. They move it near side. LeMay through traffic, and a save made by Arseny Sergeyev. So Tri-City has five skaters on the ice. The Lincoln Stars also have five skaters on the ice, but remember, there's no goaltender. Cameron Whitehead is gone. He's on the bench. Stars win the faceoff here. It's LeMay near side, and O'Hara got back, and they fired off the glass. O'Hara barely blocked the passing lane. We've got 42 seconds left to go in this hockey game. Game two of the Frosty Cup of 2022. Tri-City won it last night in overtime in game one. High in the zone, not out. Norris through traffic, blocked in front from the far side with now 31 seconds left to go. It's chipped out of the zone. It's to neutral ice. Tri-City is leading by one, three to two. And they're attempting to win 10 in a row for the third time in their history. Brindley towards an empty net, scores! Bullseye, and that's it! And Tri-City for the third time ever will win 10 consecutive games. It's a two-goal game with 19.3 left. In the Lone Star State, at the home of the Dallas Stars practice facility, this weekend, there could only be one star, and it happens to be the Tri-City Storm. Sit back and enjoy history. The 2021-2022 Tri-City Storm will join pr two previous teams in organization history in winning 10 consecutive games, and they'll go for 11 next weekend. Three, two, one, Storm win! Four to two, the final. They celebrate with Arseny Sergeyev. Tri-City, a sweep of the Lincoln Stars in the Frosty Cup of 2022.